Hello again, friends. Welcome back to Storytime with Aunt Becky. I wanted to share another um, uh, story with you. Another good one. Be Nice to Spiders by Margaret Bloy Graham. Uh, my grandparents on my dad's side had moved to South Carolina when I was introduced to this book and I was probably around 10. And uh, one of my dad's brothers was visiting with his wife. She was due to have another baby. And they um, had a little girl, one of my cousins. And she um, found this book in my grandparents' house. Well, not this exact book, but a copy. And I had never seen the book before. And right when we arrived, she asked me to read it to her. And I was young. And so I read it to her. And she seemed to have enjoyed it. She's probably forgotten all about that. She has a, a child of her own now. But um, I was able to find it probably at my favorite um, used bookstore. And I really enjoyed it when I found it and read it to her. So um, I thought that I would like to have the book when I found it. So, and I thought you might like to hear it too. It's the little boy, the cover page. This uh, book used to belong to somebody else. They had their name written in it, but um, it belongs to me now. Now, I just want to let you know that um, I do not have any children. I've always wanted children, but for some reason or other, I have no children. So, but I enjoy, have enjoyed reading since I was young. And, um, one of these days I'll share with you, um, I found a copy of a book, one of the very first that I ever read. And it's a funny book. I think you would like it. I'll read it to you sometime. But I've always, I've been reading for a long time and I grew up, in my household, we didn't have a TV. So, um, this is why I like to read stories, um. I guess really I'll just do this short video to tell you that I love to read. I like to read out loud. I married um, a man that is visually impaired. He's blind. So I read to him quite a bit. And that is um, fun to me because I have no one else to read to. I do have a lot of children's books like Be Nice to Spiders. And um, like when I started out reading... Um, I grew up with those books, the My Bible Friends. I bought them because I was teaching primary at that time. I am no longer teaching primary. Um, uh, we have my husband's brother staying with us who's bed bound. He watches TV. He doesn't read. But I have always enjoyed reading. And I was given a lot of books when I was young. The Julie and the Duckling, the one we read last time. That was um, one I got when I was, I wasn't even five yet. I was just a little girl. And I got that from my grandparents for Christmas. Um, they got me some other nature books, uh, Jeanette Oak animal books. Um, there, she's got one called Trouble in a Fur Coat about uh, bears, twin, twin bears. Um, duck tales about ducks. Um, a coat of many colors, spelled C-O-T-E. That's where um, pigeons live, like homing pigeons. And um, these boys, uh, they paint their coat, which is the building, the place where the pigeons live. And they don't have enough of any one color, so it's many colors. So it's a coat of many colors. Uh, Maury had a little lamb. That's a boy. He has a, a pet lamb. And um, the prodigal cat, a cat that goes missing, and it has two or three different names when it ends up in different hands. But um, then there's James Harriet books, um, Only One Wolf. I was trying to decide if I was going to read you that one um, this next time instead of the Be Nice to Spiders. <laughs> and um, Oscar Cat About Town, The Market Square Dog. Uh, those are the ones I have. There's also Blossom Comes Home. I don't have that one. There's Moses the Kitten. My sister had that one. Uh, there's one about a horse. 
I cannot recall. Blossom is about an old cow. Um, but James Harriet had many, many animal stories. He was a vet, so um, I always liked uh, Jeanette Elk's animal stories. Of course, I liked her books. Love Comes Softly series is my favorite series of hers. Um, I like the Little House on the Prairies. Um, I have those books, and there was some backstory books that I really enjoyed. And I um, always liked the Care Bears. Bedtime Bear was my favorite because, you know, I've never been a morning person. And Bedtime Bear's a sleepy, sleepy bear. And I have a couple of those books. Um, I've been able to find some books that I read over the years when I was young. Like the one I told you that the very first book I, I read. It's, um, it's about an elephant that po is potty training. And we had that book. It's actually printed in the Netherlands. So that was different. I was able to find that uh, several years ago. Um, I went on Amazon. Everybody likes Amazon. And I was able to find that book. And I said, that was like one of the first books I remember uh, reading, learning to read from. So I had to get it. I was still hoping I'd have children back then. Um, I like books about bears. One of my favorite books. I cannot remember the name of it. I don't even know if it was one of the little golden books. But it was about a bear. He didn't want to take a nap. <laughs> I just remember our book was very used. And it didn't have the cover. It had the, the picture, you know, when you open up the book. It didn't have the cover. But it had the picture, and it had probably had the title, but I couldn't read back then. But I liked the book. But I have looked through so many golden books. I have bought a couple of books that um, show you about the collection, collecting of golden, little golden books. And I have never come across that book. I figured that when I found it, when I saw it, I would know it. But I have been through so many books about bears. <laughs> and, um, of course, I like Smokey the Bear. Protect our forests. I'm wearing that shirt. <laughs> Got a couple of his. And, uh, of course, the Care Bears. I've always liked Teddy Bears. So any books about bears, really. Um, so... Um, I shared with you the five Chinese brothers. I was an adult, or pretty close to it, when my sister found that one, and she brought that home and read it to me, and I thought it was funny. <laughs> so, of course, I wanted to find it again when I found it, and I thought you guys might like it, so I read it a couple videos ago. I'm not going to be one of these people that tells you to like and subscribe. This is just... Um, trying to share my love of books. And my mom was always reading to me. I'm the youngest of four. Boy, girl, boy, girl. Me. I'm the last girl. But I always liked to be read to, and she would always read four bedtime stories. So even if it wasn't one I picked, I got to hear three besides mine. So that was four and when we got old enough, we would take turns reading. My mother read to us Sam Campbell. And one of the earliest books that she read to us was Calamity Jane about the raccoon um, and her family. And there was Sweet Sue's Adventure about a skunk and her family. And uh, as I got older, I read some more of Cam Sam Campbell's books. Um... There was How's Inky about a uh, porcupine. <laughs> um, Fiddlesticks and Freckles was about two baby deer. Uh, Sam Campbell and his wife would take pictures of animals. They had a little uh, cabin on an island they would paddle to every summer. And they kind of brought up a deer, a female deer called uh and they named her Bobette and and she had two babies uh fiddlesticks and freckles she came a few times well one day the two little babies were there and she was not 
and they figured a hunter must have gotten her. So they kind of helped raise the, the young ones. They kind of stayed on the island. They knew they were safe there. Um, there's Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, and Still Mo. Those are about squirrels. Um, Looney Coon is about a raccoon. Um, and then there was many other um, animal stories and books that I enjoyed. But I just wanted to give you a little backstory of why I like, I, well, I started this um, channel. I like to read books to um, out loud, and I have always enjoyed reading. Um, we didn't have a TV, like I said, so we, we read or played outside. Um, I have a TV now, and I admit I don't read as much as I used to. And so um, this gives me an excuse to stop and to read again. I started the channel originally because um, COVID-19 was going on and I could no longer teach to my Sabbath school class um, children, primary, the seven to nine year olds. So I wanted to read them the lessons. And since I had used heavily from the my Bible friends, I started reading those in no particular order. Um, after a few that I read, I started going in order of what they are in the Bible. I wish whoever had been writing them had written more of the Bible stories because I really enjoyed them growing up. We had them. And um, so that is why I started. And then I just kept on going to, to share my love for freedom. So I'm hoping that um, this is blessing somebody and they enjoy some of the books. Some books I hadn't seen in years and some you may never have heard of. Like um, I was a little older when I found Be Nice to Spiders, which I'm going to read in the next video, which I'm going to do as soon as I stop telling you how much I like to read and why I do this. Um, so I will stop now and get on to the next video and read Be Nice to Spiders. And if anybody has any um, suggestions, our, our public library isn't far away, and I can borrow some of those books. But these are the ones I, I know and love, and the ones I'm holding on to. So I'll see you in the next video to read the book. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me. Bye.